Gamers, Matt Lemke here with Through Gamer Goggles, and today we have another box breaking for you. This one's on Munchkin. Uh, it, this is the Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas edition, and we're going to take a look at it. I have not seen this yet. Um, I have heard rumors about how cool it is and things of that nature. So we're going to just bust it open and take a look at it. Like I said, I have not seen this before. Obviously, it's going to feature themed art to be... Nightmare Before Christmassy. Uh, inside you have the instructions, which are pretty simple to follow and read, apparently. You have a Nightmare Before Christmas die, which, well, we're going to give it a roll. A five, a three, a two, a six. A two. I'm going to say it's pretty balanced. Uh-oh, maybe not. Yeah, it's pretty balanced. Hmm, I wonder if it has a purpose in the game. We will find out at a later date. Now we're going to dive right in and start looking at the cards for... Maybe. Handy dandy modeling dental pick. And I'm just going to go ahead and go ahead and open this up right away. Maybe. And then we're going to take a look at the art. Um, as with all Munchkin games, it's a card-based. Uh, we have the... What is with my colors? I need to do something because this is annoying me. Oh, look at that. The light was washing out the color. So, we have the undead corpse kid, which gets plus two for each other undead monster in combat with him. Um, skeleton reindeer. The hanging tree. Jewel Fin Finkelston. Mummy boy. All wrapped up. Plus three against citizens of Christmas Town. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Bad stuff. You're mummified. You have minus five in your next combat. Keep this in front of you as a reminder. And then we have the behemoth who gets plus two against citizens of Easter Town. Reveal your hand starting with the player on your left. Each player may steal a card. Ooh. And you have the level 2 clown, level 2 Easter bunny, level 2 creature under the bed. Hey, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, you don't want to meet him alone in the dark. Plus 5 when in combat with a single player. Um, and here's the bad stuff. Peek under the bed. Reveal and discard the bottom card of the door deck. Ooh. If it is a monster, you are dead. That's pretty rough level 2 monster. Level 3. Bad stuff. Zero as in nothing. I like that. Uh, ghostly Trio. Bad stuff. Discard or draw until you have three cards in your hand. That could be good too, right? Igor. Let's look at Igor. Igor. When he enters combat, give the bonuses of any one-shot items you have in play to him. Then discard them. Bad stuff. Electrocuted. Unless you can discard an undead monster, you are dead. I'm getting a theme here. Level 4 vampires. Drained. Lose a level. Lose your citizens. Level 6. As you can see, the uh, art is very Tim Burton. Uh, and, well, there's clearly going to be different things here, obviously, because look, at you have undead, and then you have cards that aren't undead. Uh, Sandy Claus. Hey, he will not fight citizens of Christmas Town. Instead, he just gives them a treasure. Bad stuff. Naughty. Roll the die. Discard that many items you have in play. Ouch! Smothered in ooze. You're dead. 
Uh, let's let's see. Ooh, a level nine Cyclops. Players get plus two to run away. He is eyeing your stuff. Discard the most valuable items you have in play. Very cool. Uh, here we have the Devil himself, immune to fire and flame attacks. He drags you down. Lose two levels. I like it. Level ten. We're gonna flip through here. Um, ooh, ooh. Halloween Town Quartet. They have minus four to sing. Oh, they have a minus four if you sing. The, <laughs> them, the chorus of a song from the movie. Oh no, you have to know a song from the movie? I'm, I'm done for. You cannot ask for help in your next combat. Keep this uh, card in front of you as a reminder. That's pretty awesome though. Um, level 10. Oh, level 12. Holy cows. The Grim Reaper. Silent and deadly. Very deadly. Bad stuff. You were warned. You are dead. <laughs> uh, let's get to Christmas Town. Well, we can look at King of Spades. Here's the bad stuff. He cuts off your hand. Lose a hand item. And a hand. You cannot equip two-handed items. And may only keep a single hand item. Keep this in front of you as a reminder. That's pretty wicked. Ah, uh, level 16. Wow. Level 18. Okay. I want to find Christmas Town. Wandering Monster. Hey, I haven't looked at a Wandering Monster yet today. Uh, your monster joins one already fighting. Add their combat strengths. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, it's Christmas Town. I've been looking for this. I want to see Christmas Town. We're only halfway through one deck, and i got to get moving a little bit faster. Get a little distracted. Gift wrapped. You may discard an item worth at least 300 gold pieces to automatically run away from a monster. Better to give than receive. When being helped in combat, if you let the helper have all the treasure, you go up an extra level. This cannot be the winning level. That's pretty cool. Uh, the different citizenships um, are going to be fun. Ooh, Easter Town. Quick, like a bunny. If you meet a monster when you first kick down the door, you may attempt to run away. Uh, basket of Goodies. You hold one extra card in your hand. Hey, that's pretty cool. Thanksgiving Town. Give thanks. When another player helps you kill a monster of level 10 or higher, you may both draw an extra treasure. Hey, that's... Dual citizenship. Very cool. Um, and then you can you have curses. Uh, lose your armor. Uh, suffer the effect of the next curse. Let's see. Are they different on the back? Uh, lose your ride, lose items, play before kicking down a door, play before kicking down a door. Oh, hiding in the trash can. Instead of kicking down the door, you may fight the uh, topmost monster in the door discards. Uh, plus five to monster. These are boosts now. Um, here's some more boosts. Uh, some of these say, you know, you're going to have different effects. Your, your rides, your one shots. Uh, here's go up level, instant levels. And technically, we're into it at that point. We're into the uh, other deck, which this one looks a little bit mixed up. So we're gonna scoot through here. We have the uh, Deadly Nightshade. Kill any one monster. It leaves the treasure, but you don't gain levels. Seven hundred gold. Um, lab coat plus two bonus. The mayor's badge. Santa suit. Snowman. Ball and chain. Bear trap. Elf shoes. Plus four, plus four bonus for citizens of Christmas Town. Um, uh, this one's exclusive to uh, Thanksgiving Town. Santa's boots, the bat hat, bunny ears, fright masks, uh, nightcap, Santa's beard, Santa's hat, top hat, axe, deadhead, dissected bear, holiday lights. This counts as fire or flame attack. That's kind of cool. Uh, Holy Spoons. Vampire Teddy. Torch. Thanksgiving only. 
basket of goodies. Voodoo Doll! Whenever you play a curse, you may discard this. If you do, the curse affects all other players. Very cool. Saxophone, science kit, uh, which allows you to draw a face down door card whenever another player sells items for a level. That could be cool. A wheelbarrow. Guillotine, which is broom. Plus two bonus, ride enhancer. Oh, they got a whole bunch of ride enhancers. Ooh, it's a gargoyle. Uh, patchwork arm. Skeleton. Zero's tombstone. Other players cannot curse you. However, if you draw a curse when you kick open the door, you must discard this and suffer the curse. Interesting. Jackal lantern. We have the paper snowflake. We have Christmas wreath. Uh, we have an ornament. We have war supplies, which allows you to automatic escape uh, for one or two players from any fight. Wow. These are all one shots here. Fireworks, yeah. Fish bones. Um, Frog's breath. Gingerbread cookie. House of greeting cards. Naughty and nice. And then more curses. Uh, like I said, this is the first time I've ever seen these, so I'm exploring these with you um, for the first time. And I hope to play this tomorrow, actually, and have the review up by the end of the week. Uh, here's miniature. Uh, you make you basically you shrink them, cheat. Um, bathtub plus one bonus plus two bonus. Uh, ride. Electric spider web searchlight snow globe. Vision, um, and then here's go up levels, uh, open your presence. Here's jack in the box, roll one die, two to six go up a level, but on a one surprise, everyone loses a level. That's pretty cool. The music in the air, I'd like to join in by your side. So, in Munchkin, you get, well, in Munchkin, the Nightmare Before Christmas, you get the rules, and of course, you get all of the cards to play Munchkin the Nightmare, the Nightmare Before Christmas well Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas thanks for watching guys this has been a box breaking with Matt Lemke from 2 Gamer Goggles Gamer-Goggles.com please subscribe to us uh, leave some feedback engage us let us know what we're doing oh of course I forgot to die um, follow us on Twitter like us on Facebook Please share if you know if this is a video you liked or you know somebody who's going to be interested in Tim Burton's version of Munchkin. Um, share it with them, please. Or direct them, share the link. Thanks for watching and have a good day.